have the ATR leveling system here which consists of these spindles that go on the top these bases that go under the tile and which come in crosses and T's and uh, straights and uh, what you do is you thread this screw into the top of the spindle at the top and you screw it all the way down uh, so there's a little bit of prep work with this system here um, and then once you've got that screw all the way down then you put the uh, base on and uh, then this system is ready to go so there's a little bit of uh, prep with this and assembly uh, but you know it doesn't take too much time and uh, so uh, 100 pieces comes in a little box like this and so it doesn't take up a lot of space this is how um, you use the system so I've got some thin set spread here and I'm going to back by these tiles and it's always a good idea to back by the tiles before you set them but anyway so uh, really quite simple uh, you just set the uh, set, start setting your tiles and then um, you get uh, one of the crosses and they go in every corner the little crosses go in every corner other systems like um, there are other systems that you can use leveling systems that instead of putting one in a corner uh, you have to put four around the corner so you, you're using uh, one piece here uh, in every corner as opposed to four so that's a, a, um, a savings in time and in material uh, that you have to buy to install the system and use the system now usually it's a you know on a 12 by 12 you usually don't really need uh, to use a leveling system uh, but you know I had this um, sample that was given to me and so I wanted to try it out so uh, I'm trying it on these 12 by 12s and uh, it's really pretty easy to use um, you get the um, these spindles that I set up before with the um, things and you put one in the corner now these are the crosses put these in the corners and then uh, at the uh, wall there you get the flat ones uh, and uh, you put those uh, uh, you know where, where there's no corner see that's that's the one I'm going to be putting uh, at the walls so you put those in and then you know you're back by your next tile and you put your next tile in and you get a few tiles down and then once you've got uh, a few tiles down uh, you start to tighten them up so you know it's pretty simple uh, you put uh, one in each corner uh, the crosses they also come in T's so if you've got like a running bond or a brick pattern type of uh, floor that you got to put down you, they make T's for those and so you put these uh, pieces in and you get some tile down and then uh, you start to tighten them up uh, you can um, screw these down by hand if you want or you can uh, if you want you can use a cordless drill but the cordless drill needs to have a clutch uh, because you don't want to um, uh, strip the screws out of the, out of the bases so you have to have uh, a cordless drill with the right size socket and it has to have a clutch uh, so that uh, it won't just keep on tightening it down, down so that's an option if you want on a small floor you really don't need it but on a, a larger floor uh, you know it could save a lot of time got a few tiles down now it's time to start tighten them up so uh, uh, you know really not much to it just uh, screw them down and and tighten them down now one of the good things about this system is is because the uh, little screw that goes in the corner there is so small it doesn't really make uh, a mess with the thin set in other words uh, some of the um, other systems uh, the straps when you put them in uh, what happens is it makes the thin set come through the grout joints and um, you know there's more cleaning up to do 
Now, uh, with this system here, the, those little screws that are so small and they go in the corners, uh, they really don't cause too much thin set um, to come up between uh, the tiles. So uh, that's one of the advantages uh, with this system here. So, and uh, you, just, uh, you just screw them down and uh, tighten them down and that's what brings the, um, the tiles in, into plane. Uh, so the, uh, you've got the base at the bottom in the corner pulling up as you got the um, spindle tightening down. So uh, that's what how the, these systems work. They bring the tiles into plane because they, um, they like a clamp that, that, that pulls uh, the two tiles into the same plane. So um, uh, that's really, really all there is to it. You put one of these bases at the bottom and you put uh, you get a few tiles down and then you screw them in screw them down tighten them up and that's pretty much it uh, there is to it and then you know once the tile is all done then you just um, let it set up a set and uh, then you unscrew them to take them out and finish it I mean to finish the floor and grout so that's um, this part On setting your tiles with these um, spaces and and uh, sticking your um, clips in, etc., etc., just, just keep tiling. Uh, and then once you've got uh, some more tiles down, you, just, you tighten them down and, and just keep going until you've got the whole floor done. Uh, this is what your floor is going to look like. Uh, obviously, this is just a small floor, uh, but one, just one uh, piece in every corner. Uh, let the tile set. Now it's time to take these um, spindles off, and uh, this is what you do. You just unscrew them. Now here I, I've been doing everything by hand, but these um, you could you know if you've got a lot to do you know on a small floor obviously you don't really need to, but if you've got a big floor you can actually use a cordless drill uh, with a socket uh, which is you know uh, the right size for these spindles and you just use your cordless drill to to unscrew them and they come out really quick. Uh, it's not too bad doing it by hand, but if you've got a lot to do obviously you want to do it quicker so uh, you can use a cordless drill uh, with, a, with, a, with a socket on it to, uh, to undo them. and um, so that's that's an option if you want to but uh, you know it's pretty easy they come out pretty easily and uh, these spindles once you take them out uh, you, they can be reused they're reusable uh, you know, most systems like that you know you lose the bottom part which goes under the tile and you keep the uh, top part <coughs> which you can reuse and this is no different Scrape out a thin set that might be between the grout joints and you're ready to grout. And that's all there is to it. ATR tile leveling system.